I warmly welcome. In this episode, we want to show you how to start the inverter for the first time. I'm talking about Grovat brand, mod TL3X model. We have just started this inverter, but we will show you everything from the beginning. Let's choose a factory reset. The reset was done. Let's turn off the inverter. First, we check whether we have the correct voltage at all phases of AC connection. Here we have a provisional connection for the purpose of the test. We also check whether we have the expected voltages on DC circuits. Here also provisionally connected on one DC circuit. If after checking we find that we have no problems, turn on the DC circuit with the switch. The inverter starts up. For starters, maybe a short training in command handling. The display is quite small, which is a disadvantage, but also an advantage. Installer who leave the installation to the end user have probably encountered later this configuration by the user, who may not always be familiar with the subject. This protects a bit against confused end users who like to mess around with each other. The hole is operated with one button. Pressing a single button will take you to the next menu. A double press is confirmation, the appropriate enter key. Pressing three times is cancel, return, escape key equivalent. We are in setting parameters. Press twice to select. We have general settings. We press twice, we enter. The first menu of general setting is the language selection. To change the language, press twice. Successively single pressing changes the selected language. English, German, Spanish, French, Chinese. With this setting the inverter can leave the factory. And Polish. First. Let's choose Chinese so that we can deal with such a situation. We have Chinese language accepted. This is what the parameter setting menu looks like in Chinese. We select twice and now we have the general parameters in the first line. We choose again and we are in the language selection menu. We enter the choice of language. We choose the language and now I will choose the English language. I approve with a double touch. The display of the inverter is in English now. We go to the next menu. Communication address via serial port. If not used, leave it unchanged. Next we have the date settings menu and time. And that's it, th that's it in the general settings menu. We exit by clicking three times. We went one level higher with a single click. We go to the selection of advanced settings. We accept the selection by double clicking. Here we have to provide a password. The default password is one, two, three. Some Printed paper manual have a printed printing error and do not correctly specify the password 111. The first one is confirmed by double clicking. Then with a single click select 2 and confirm. Similarly we choose the last digit 3. The first menu we see is the wide voltage set. This is the size of the short-term maximum and minimum AC voltage forks on all phases. 
We have three levels at standard zero, one wider limits and two the widest limits. Depending on the parameters of supply network we select the appropriate level. Any errors in the AC voltage which signals that this setting is too low level. By default level 1 is selected. We go back to the advanced parameters. The next parameter enable N-line. If we do not use it, leave this up option turn it off. Next export limit. If we do not limit the power input to the grid, we should leave this option turn it off. It's all parameters. Parameters such as frequency and phases shift are selected automatically. The inverters we distribute are intended for the European market. We see the inverter is working. It displays the various parameters of produced energy. Correct work is marked with a green leaf. Configuration is very simply. That's all for this episode. Thank you for your attention and welcome to our online store shop.saninhouse.eu where you can buy, among others, these inverters at attractive price. Better house, better life.